Hey everybody! You know, it's been a while since I've been live. Or at least it feels like it. Might not be. Um, if this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Amanda Moore. I am an independent beauty guide with Limelight by Alcone. And thank you for watching my video. Um, let me get this light out of my way. Let's see if I put it up here. Let's see if that works. I just took my contacts out. I made the dumb dumb decision to sleep in them for like three nights and I think it scratched my eyeball. But anyway, <laughs> so my eye keeps watering profusely. So mixing lip colors is my favorite thing to do because you know you get tired of using the same lip color and just using it as your base lip color so I like to mix it up and it gives me a mix up of um, different colors and then I can even with the two colors I can make it uh, with two colors I can make a variation between uh, about three to four different colors depending on how much I use one color versus the other and if I let more pigment come from one color than the other so on my piece of wax paper here I have cream brulee um, sugar plum, candy apple, cherry pie, not candy apple, <laughs> um, salted caramel, and then wedding cake. So this first color here, I just took um, cream brulee and cherry pie and mixed them together. And you got this really pretty, um, it's not like, it's not as bright red as what cherry pie is because cherry pie is one of those colors that it's really bright red um, and it's I have to be feeling very very bold to wear cherry pie so um, but when I mix it with cream brulee it kind of takes um, it simmers down the redness of it so it gives you a nice uh, like pinkish red instead of so I mix that one let me swatch it on here for you I'll mix a little more because it was drying <laughs> so hi Debbie hi Katie so Debbie? that is uh, yep Debbie's watching you want to come say hi Come say hi. Logan has to say hi, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> See? She's right there. Say hi. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> say hi to Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we may have to call Daddy back. So this is mixing cherry pie and cream brulee. Stop messing. He's messing with everything. Debbie says hi Logan and Katie yeah. says hi <laughs> he's so excited <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> he's got chocolate all over his face because he drank chocolate milk this morning so and then I took sugar plum and cream brulee and mixed them together sorry Craig I was in, I'm in the middle of doing my video so I ignored your call sorry But, um, I had to put more out. Alright, so I took sugar plum and cream brulee. Sugar plum is a purple, is more of a purple color. It's very pretty in its own. But like I said, if you mix it with cream brulee, then it really tones down the purple in it. So that's mixing cream brulee and sugar plum and then this is cherry pie and cream brulee because cream brulee is kind of like your all neutral pink tone and it helps it really helps to bring down some of the brightness on the other colors so and then the two colors that I never thought that I would ever combine would be cherry pie and salted caramel because you're going from red to brown and I thought this is going to be probably the ugliest color ever. But I really don't think it is. I don't, 
I don't know. You guys tell me. I'll mix them together and then you tell me. Because I think it's actually really pretty. Like, they actually go together pretty, pretty well. But I will let you guys decide. And you tell me what you think. Get some more of the colors out here. Now I'm gonna mix it. So, like, that's what I'm doing. I'm just swirling it around. Try not to get it all over my fingers. And I'll take more of the salted caramel. I have macaroon too, but it's hiding in my purse somewhere. Because it's usually my color that I go to. Alright, so that is salted caramel with the um, cherry pie. And then I can even add even more brown into it. And I can tone down the red into it some more. My wax paper is wanting to absorb everything for some reason. There we go. So then, this is adding more of the um, salted caramel, and then this is more of the cherry pie. So really, you can out of two colors, you can get like four. So I, I think it's really pretty. I was actually really, really shocked because I didn't think, I was thinking brown and then red. Like, I don't, to me it was just weird. A weird combo, but what the heck? You never know until you try it, right? So that's what <laughs> I was like. Yeah, I like it too, Katie. It really, it surprised me. I am going to say that because I was not expecting it to um, look as good as it did. I don't know why. I just, I guess red and brown does go together. But I think it's just because one's really bright and one's not. Alright, so now wedding cake. Just because I love the color itself, I have never actually mixed it with anything. That's not wedding cake. But um, wedding cake has metallic in it, so it makes it, it's our only shimmer and during lip color. So I've never mixed it because I just love the color itself. And I usually just wear it. And I'm taking my paper towel and I'm trying to wipe off the excess so that we're not getting, you know, five different colors in here. So, I'm going to take, which one should I do? Wedding cake and, let's try it with sugar plum. <laughs> so we'll do sugar plum, and this is going to be a bold lip, I can just tell already. Because sugar plum is dark, and um, wedding cake is just a it's a really pretty metallic red to it. All right, so this is going to be sugar plum and wedding cake. Oh, it's not too bad. So wedding cake is this lighter color right here. It has the metallic in it, and then this is sugar plum. So you can see how dark sugar plum is, and then even the wedding cake is a little bit darker. But that is them two mixed together right there. Not too bad. I feel like you could probably even lighten it up some more, putting even more wedding cake into it. So this is just a few examples. I mean, you can get one lip color and just stick with your one lip color. Or you can, yeah, it lightened it up a little bit more. Not a whole, whole lot, but, and stick with one. Or you can get two and you can kind of I really feel like you can get four colors out of two lip colors. I know that probably sounds crazy just because 
They're like, how do you get four lip colors? But if you really use one color to lighten it up more than the other, then you're going to get a different color than if you use the color, another, another darker color more. So mixing, and this is, I mean, that's five different um, kinds of lipsticks, but also it's not the same five that I pulled out, like I didn't just swatch each color individually, it's just mixing each of the two colors. So five lipsticks and I actually have, I mean, I'm only showing ten, but honestly there's like probably a good twenty colors that you could get just playing with them and all that. So, and I think the color that I have on here, I did Salted Caramel and Cherry Pie, I do believe. Salted Caramel and Cream Brulee, maybe. Salted Caramel and Cream Brulee. So, it does a very nude, um, it kind of tones down the brown and in the, in the Salted Caramel, and then the Cream Brulee kind of brings out the pink. So, that is just what I like to do. And if you guys have any lip colors that you like to mix, you can let me know. And I hope everybody has a good Tuesday, and we'll talk soon. Bye.